Let's discuss the character of Don John. So he is presented in Much Ado About Nothing as the villain of this play. In other words, he is the person that sets off the series of events that threaten the happiness of all the other characters. However, he is ultimately revealed to be the person that's causing all of this mischief. Now, we realize actually his villainy stems from a very sad place. He is the illegitimate brother of Don Pedro, who's the Prince of Aragon. And he is very bitter and resentful that he has basically been robbed of what he sees as a rightful place of power. He also especially hates Claudio because it was Claudio who plays a key role in protecting Don Pedro. And he sees Claudio as playing a role in basically standing between him and basically overthrowing a Don Pedro and gaining his maybe position in Aragon as being a powerful man okay now of course as I mentioned he is the one that misguides Claudio so he's the one that tells him that Hero is unfaithful this is his way of basically gaining revenge so as you can see behind me I've prepared a key set of quotations to remember when it comes to Don John's character and these quotations will serve you well if you're writing about much ado about nothing for either your coursework or or exam. So let's get started with the first quotation relating to Don John's character. And here, of course, he didn't. He admits the kind of person he is. He states, "It must not be denied, but I am a plain dealing villain." Okay, and this is a declarative sentence. What he's basically saying is, "Yep, I am a very evil person." He owns his evilness. He owns his villainy. Okay, and of course, this has led some critics to basically say that his character is just way too evil. That it's not even believable. Okay. Now, also the other word level analysis you want to do here is. The essence of A in am, A, plain, and dealing. Now, the second quotation is bear in mind and to remember for Don John's character is when he talks about the reasons why he's really um, hateful towards Claudio, he's very jealous of him, and he states that young startup hath all the glory of my overthrow. Okay, and here he's talking about how Claudio basically um, helped Don Pedro defend himself against Don John. And hence he sees him also as a reason why he's not more powerful and he's not the recognized heir of Aragon. Now, the word love analysis you want to do here is the assonance of A in that start up hath all and also the pronoun my. So we can see here that Don John basically has this really personal vendetta against Claudio. And this is one of the reasons why he wants to destroy his relationship with Hero. The other quotation to remember is when now he convinces Claudio, when he's talking to Claudio and he plants these seeds of doubt in his mind, he states, this, the lady is disloyal. Now this is a declarative sentence and the adjective disloyal, of course, this is what sets off this chain of events between Claudio and Hero and leads Claudio to basically denounce her and call her um, someone who's not virginal, who's not chaste and not honorable, okay? So of course here we can see that Don John is really now being very mischievous. The other quotation to remember is when he's now uh, talking and unveiling, you know, how terrible Hero's actions are. So he's fooling everybody and he states, fire, fire, they're not to be named, my lord, not to be spoke of. So here he's saying, oh, the actions that she's done are so terrible. We can't even talk about this in front of everybody. Otherwise, people will be so shocked at Hero's actions. Okay, so here we can see that he's very, very deceptive. Now, the word level analysis you want to do firstly is a repetition of phi. This is showing that Don, Pe Don John is taking almost this false sense of shock and morality. Of course, this shows that he's a very duplicitous person. Also, the other word level analysis you want to do is alliteration of N in not and named. And finally, this is an exclamatory sentence. Now, the final quotation is when he sees that the damage has been done and he decides to now exit, okay? And he states, let us go. These things come thus to light, smother her spirits up. So this is when he's seeing that Hero is literally about to faint and he seems almost proud of his good work, okay? Now here, the word level analysis you want to do is first the alliteration of T in these things and also the sibilance of S in smother and spirits, okay? So he seems really pleased that his plot and his deception has actually been really successful. So that's it when it comes to key quotations, remember for John John's character.